Hello guys, welcome back to uh, St. Anne's Clinic um, video guide on open MRS installation. Right, uh, we've done a few videos already. Okay, I think our last video was uh, pasting um, the open MRS WAR file into the required folder, which was uh, um, uh, ZAMP, Tomcat, Web App. So we downloaded that. Uh, sorry, we um, pasted a file um, into the folder. Now, um, this is gonna be the penultimate or uh, video, or uh, the sorry, the, the last video um, before the Opal MRS installation proper. Uh, there are a few things we need to do to get the Opal MRS installation done, and that is by um, creating a database user in MySQL. Okay, uh, once we've um, created that, um, we also need to start Tomcat after, after that. Okay, and that will be the last step before we install OPPO MRS. So let's get cracking. Okay, right, so we uh, don't forget um, you need to pin um, the ZAMP server onto. Uh, your, your desktop or create a shortcut or just pin it here and um, uh, we have have it running here the ZAMP control panel which is the ZAMP server okay uh, we have started Apache uh, we started MySQL uh, we have not started Tomcat uh, we'll get to that shortly okay so to create a database user we need to click on admin here okay so let's watch a video Okay, click on admin and that should open up localhost php my admin. Okay, you don't need to know all the details. Uh, all you want is create a database user with a unique name that you have chosen. So click on user accounts. Okay, and come all the way to add user accounts. Okay, and click there. Um, give your user a name. So I use tester for example. Okay, leave this the default percent and uh, choose the password that you alone can remember. Um, it has is a strong password or a weak, whatever you want to do, I suggest you use a very good password. Okay, after you've done that, retype your password in here as well. So, it's password, uh, retype the same password, and then okay, so. Um, Type the password in there and then go come here, grant all privileges on wildcat username. I will do that and then check all global privileges as well. Okay, once you've done that, uh, all of these should be ticked. Click go here and it should be home and dry. So you have added a new user called tester. So let's go back to user accounts and we should see the user called tester um, there. Okay, so tester is there. So don't forget, um, you can choose any name you want for your user. You can call it your name, you can call it any kind of name. Okay, uh, but do not forget the username and the password though, because that is going to be in your database. Okay, so once you've done that, you can now start Tomcat. Click Start Tomcat. Okay. Once you have clicked on Tomcat, you see uh, this here, like uh, a command prompt um, file. This file must never be closed. In as much or in as long as you are running um, uh, uh, Open MRS, it has to remain open. So if you see server started, server startup in this is milliseconds. Um, Tomcat is off and running. Okay, so don't close it. You can just minimize it um, and leave it running for as long as your server is running. This is the main thing that is running your Open MRS applications. Okay, so we have done that, and um, um, 
we have done that and we have um, started some cats. We have created a database uh, called Testa in my case, uh, giving it all the privileges. So the next video is going to be, I guess it's as good as mine, the Open MRS application installation proper. See you guys in the next video. Bye.